y'all. So we just hiked up out of Fontana this morning. It was an interesting experience. Um, we stayed at the resort. It's not the word I would use. And uh, yesterday we called, asked if they had any rooms available. They said no. We had introduced ourselves as hikers. Then we went online, found that they did have a room, booked it. It just wasn't a hiker rate, so I guess there was maybe a miscommunication that might not be on their part, yeah. but they acted like they had no rooms Zero at rooms. all. Because I asked, I just said, me and my wife are hiking the trail. Do you guys have any rooms available tonight? I said it just like that. And I got, no, no. sorry, we're, all, we're uh, completely full tonight. We don't have any rooms. Uh, not like, hey, we don't have any hike rooms left. We maybe have this other room that might be more expensive. Nothing like that. Nothing like that. Yeah. So we did get a room. And then um, this morning, like the shuttle driver like was just MIA. It's 80 to... degrees today, and we had to do a dangerous road walk to get back to the trail. That was really the main thing while we yeah. waited because it, there's nowhere for you to walk. Like, you have to walk on the road, and it's very windy. So, I feel like we've been complaining a lot recently, and I think it's I think that the Smokies put us in a bad mood because there are rules about camping and stuff, and we just that's not yeah. how we like to hike. So, it's been frustrating, and hopefully it gets better. <laughs> From here, because now we can just camp wherever we want, you know. Plan on hitting some creeks, taking some baths. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. We'll talk to you later. Hopefully, it'll be hopefully it'll be positive and like cheerful like usual. But yeah. Uh, maybe maybe That's this cool. is like our Virginia blues. Yeah. <laughs> because uh, because now we know like there's nothing else really to see on the rest of the trail besides like deep forest, which I don't mind all the time, but like. Uh, I'm not hiking up 0.3, 0.4 straight up a mountain to go to a, a viewing tower. Maybe if I'm just starting my through hike out and haven't seen anything yet, but not at this point in my hike, I'm not doing that. So at this point, it's like 160 miles of just forest. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah. There's also a baby snake over here. I'll try to take a picture of for y'all. Just sitting in the leaves. Where you at? Hey guys. <laughs> we're a little delirious. It's hot been like in the 80s mm -hmm. and we're climbing so yeah that's we, exhausting we do this all day we climb all day i know <laughs> i feel like we never go down but yeah so a little hot has been much to show you trails really green and overgrown but nice but yeah it's it's all right not too rocky no. not too rocky not too rudy um yeah literally there's been not really any views or anything but all right, we're going to show you. Delirious. <laughs> but uh, we just ran into uh, cave. our first cave that we're like sure is a bear den because the entrance is just covered in bear corn. So the only way that gets there is if a bear is probably pooping there often. And Yeah, like when it's hibernating for the short winter. Yeah, and... you know. Lunchtown, smoking out the bugs. With a fire. Cream at the bar. What's up? Hey guys. What's up, guys? So we made it down to the NLC. A lot we're, of cars. We're waiting for our uh, buzzer to go off so we can eat some good food. Hey y'all. The tree man's back there. But, uh, been climbing up out of the NOC today. It's been really hot. The, tr the trek itself has not been that bad. It's been kind of switch backed and not too bad hiking. It's just been like 86 degrees so it's really really hot. Can't wait to get to camp. Um, we're hoping to push it to maybe like 16 miles but I think we're only gonna do 13. We'll see when we get up there but I don't know if we're going to feel like climbing up anymore <laughs> once we get there because it's going to be another climb. So we'll see what happens, but most likely we're stopping after only 13 miles. But we spent a couple hours at the NOC, so uh, these bugs are driving me nuts. Uh, but it's been pretty. We've gotten some like sort of peaks off the side of the mountains and whatnot. Uh, they get eat up by the bugs. No, we, we got, got bug spray. We're just It's just been bad. Sometimes they just keep biting you. Yeah, they're pretty nasty over here. 
the no the no seems likes... it's been the no seems more so than the uh crazy you know, um, tree man always gets it worse i don't know whatever they're attracted Sweet to blood. hey guys hello hope y'all had a good memorial day ours was pretty good it was uh went to the noc yesterday <laughs> Today we are headed into Franklin, and yeah, we're going to go stay, get a private room, resupply, eat, do all that good stuff. Uh, the trail has been pretty nice today. Um, not very steep. Not steep, uh, good conditions, not real, real rocky. It's um, been overgrown still, but I think that's yeah. just how it's going to be now. It's getting, you know, late springtime, so... Everything's fully green and bloomed, and you know, it's just kind of how it is at this time of year. Yep, got some wind today, so it's not quite as hot as yesterday. And not as buggy. Yeah, yesterday was pretty bad because we did have like, what was it, over 2,000 foot climb? Yeah. And it wasn't that steep, but every time we would get to a, like a small steep section, it'd be like completely open to the sun every time. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of fire damage yesterday coming up out of Franklin. I mean, uh, the NOC. So it was just like it's really exposed to the afternoon sun. So today's a little better. Got me some Dr. Schulz inserts. Hopefully, I won't feel as many of the rocks because my other insoles are done. Creatures. All kinds of creatures. <laughs> hey guys, um, so we got back on trail this morning. Um, we had a really, really bad experience last night. This is the first time that we've had a real bad experience with a hostel before. Um, we're not going to name names in Franklin. There's only a handful of hostels that are in the downtown Franklin area. And only one operating right now. So, so you guys can figure out figure. what happened. Um, uh, the guy was just insulting from the moment that he came to get us. Just completely appalled by his behavior as a business owner of any sort. Like, I would never, ever recommend for somebody to stay there. He is the rudest person that we have met. On the trail. Um, on, he's up there with the people that we've met on the trail that are rude, but definitely the worst hostile owner. Yeah, and uh, it's, it's funny because he said uh, people describe him as the Shaws of the South. I don't believe anyone ever no, has said that not. out loud. Um, that is a smack in the face to Shaws because they are amazing. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It was just a, a weird experience. I don't typically, like, do stuff like that. Like, if I get a shuttle in from a hostel owner, like, I'll stay at their hostel because, yeah. like, they're usually good people. But this guy was... Not. Maybe he's a good people. Maybe he just had a bad day. I'm not really sure. There's other reviews There's if you guys want to go read them. There's quite a few other similar reviews. So of I think this is just who he is. Yeah. Um, anyways, we left them, went to the hotel, had a great experience there. Budget Inn. The Budget Inn was great. awesome. Awesome people. Super comfortable beds. Hot shower. Strong water pressure. Cold AC. Cold AC. Cable TV. Cable, all that good stuff. But yeah, they um, bridge microwave. They really, they really took care of us there. We had a great time, great experience. Outdoor seventy six. Outdoor seventy six. Awesome. Um, awesome. Awesome people. Yeah. I uh, ended up getting a ride back from a guy there. It's not something they typically do. Yeah. Um, he just happened to. He just happened to be direction. coming this way, so he gave us a ride back. So that was awesome. Uh, was that was really there. awesome. Um, there's a couple Uber taxi kind of things to get you back and forth to the trail. Um, they're not, they're not cheap. They're not crazy, but you should be able to hitch if you get to Winding Stair Gap. Shouldn't be a problem. Um, Winding Stair Gap looks like a pretty busy highway, so 64 looks like a pretty busy highway, so you should be able to hitch into town. Um, yeah, we're gonna get hiking today. Um, hopefully, we'll get it to up and over Albert Mountain today. That's gonna be about 15 miles or something like that. Mm -hmm. So hopefully, we get that far. And yeah, like um, we were kind of down last night, but spirits are up today. Feeling pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not too too hot. Yep. Maybe in the 80s, low 80s, mid 80s. Um, yep. Ready to go, guys. Ready to get back in a good mood. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Hey, guys. So, it's a little warm. It's a lot of warm. But otherwise, the hiking's not been bad. 
We're getting switched back really well. Woo! Up these, uh... That is like, you guys just got a glimpse into every single day hiking with bobsled. Like every five seconds a trip or something, but... <laughs> I mean, they've been switched back in us pretty well, and... I haven't been running my thighs through grass all day. That's been nice. So... The trail's been nice and wide, at least. So that's been great. Um, not too many views. A little slight bit here and there. But nothing better than what we've shown in the last video. Nope. So I didn't take any footage. Yep, we're gonna keep walking. <laughs> oh, so tired. Yep. Good evening, guys. guys hey guys so <laughs> nothing happened today no. <laughs> we didn't get up and over albert but we're like right below it so we'll get up and over that tomorrow which i think makes 100 miles tomorrow i think the countdown to the double digits yeah starts tomorrow so that's exciting um we had a good night tonight uh with a bunch of people uh, they were all section hikers one through hiker or he said he said he's not gonna make it, so he said he's just gonna see how far he gets. So trail name Grumpy. Attempted through hiker. <laughs> I don't know what his trail he's name very, was. Yeah, was. I'll call him grumpy. grumpy. He's he grumpy, grumpy man. But uh, everybody or, else was very or friendly. Or bug bites, man. I haven't seen anybody <laughs> eaten up with the bug bites that much. Like it was looked to like the point had, where like, chicken pox. it did. It looked like he had chicken pox, but I'm sure it was bug bites. Um, yeah, that was the worst case we've seen on trail. Yeah, uh, nothing really exciting happened. I felt pretty awful today. I had a, like a migraine by the time we got to camp. So I took some medicine and lay down for a little bit and I'm feeling better. I'm just so boring. I'm just getting tired. But yeah, we're tired. It's only 7. It's hot. It's been hot today. Yeah, so we're going to go to bed early. But it's been like at least 7 or 8 days since rain. It has, and it's supposed to have another few days, so... I think it's supposed to be rainless all the way through Tuesday, which we're supposed to be finishing next Wednesday. Yeah, so... so probably I can't cross my fingers. begin That's and end on it's rain. Football. That's all I got. <laughs> Can you do, like, over... All right. I can do both. Yeah, that's weird. I can't... Oh, oh, I can I do both. It's definitely harder to put my middle finger under. Unassisted, it's, it's really hard. It's really hard. Go ahead, try it at home. It's really hard. Oh, look at you. You look like, uh... <laughs>